now that I have your attention, let's talk about some SEO. Hi guys, Andrew here. I'm just going to be talking about reverse engineering websites. Now say for example you find a competitor which is outranking you for a term. So let's just put a random term in here. I'm feeling pretty spicy now so what about curry pies? Now say for example if you were this website here and this website was outdoing you, what you could do is find out exactly what backlinks that other website has and then sort of see if you can get the same links on those pages linking to your website. Now the program I would use to investigate that would be SEO Spyglass. Now what I'm going to do is using the example on the screen now I'm going to use this previous example because I know it's got less backlinks and we don't really have much time to go through and wait for a, th a thousand links so I'm just going to quickly put that in here and hit next so what that's going to go through is going to basically work out all the backlinks which are linking to that so I'm just going to hit skip here should just speed it up a little bit obviously if we did enter the capture codes there we would probably get an extra couple of links to analyze that's basically just finished what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get it to analyze each link individually so what that's going to do and I'll just explain this while it's actually going through and loading that is it's going to tell us where the backlink is the title of the backlink the anchor text which is also very important because they are aiming for certain keywords we can sort of analyze say for example if this website was aiming for curry pies and I'm not saying it is this is a uh, .gov site but just say if they were aiming for curry pies that would most probably come up here a number of times as with Google Penguin if you do put the anchor text in too many times it will actually penalize your results and filter you out so it's not a technique worth doing anymore but many SEOs did used to over exaggerate the anchor text so it might be a good way to get some insight into what exactly they're trying to rank for anyway moving on the anchor URL so what actual page they're linking to the actual page rank which is very important because the higher the page rank the more valuable the link it's a hundred and I think twenty factors that Google looks at when it comes to websites but I think it is from my testing anyway good way to sort of analyze a website by working out how much page rank links are aiming at that site just stop that prematurely just so we can quickly show you what's going on there now what I'm going to do is order the links by the page rank now you can see quite a few of those links there I haven't actually checked now as you can see there is some quite high page rank here we've got a one six we've got a number of fives and a lot of fours here so if we were going to take this website on as competition this would be quite a serious task and you need to spend some SEO budget because unfortunately there are no shortcuts when a site's backlink profile looks like this now we didn't even analyze half the links this is only a small variety of links and you can already see they've got some tremendous good backlinks there now these are all the sites that they're actually from and these are the domain IP if these are all the same and you can see a few similar ones in there that one looks like a similar one yep and it's the same site as well so it's really going to be discounted as one link from that site instead of two we could actually order it by IP as well and you can see there's quite a few there as well so when you look at all these little metrics you can sort of build up a picture in your head of how competitive it will be it takes a little while to get used to and a site of this magnitude is really need to spend some budget because it looks like a difficult task here to actually fix this up one opportunity I do see in here is that a lot of these links the link is actually missing so it's got over here link missing and as I scroll down it appears that most of these links are missing apart from these yeses down here but they have no page rank 
if we did do the full profile we'd get more of an insight into that and we it's probably worth actually going to these sites and just double checking you can quickly do that by just clicking this box here which will take you to the site as you can see a lot of these other sites are .gov and .edu sort of sites or government sites anyway so you could probably figure that it would be quite difficult competition anyway I think that sort of covers most things when it comes to back engineering other websites and sort of working out the competition if you have any questions please write in thank you